everyone, welcome to Prudent Media News. First, we take a look at the headlines. Ankita Singh's statement to Goa police reveals that Kanda has fathered a child with her. Statement corroborates Gitika's suicide note, exposes Kanda's illicit links with Goa. Sanjay Desai's dead body found on the second day at Alchi family suspects foul over suicide, refuses to take, take charge of the body till the security in charge is arrested. Goa Bar Owners Association welcomes government intentions of not allowing more bars in villages and residential areas, tells government to consider urban villages like Kalegaon and Kalangut. in sports, Bharat Ratna should not be given to sports persons but should be given only to exceptional service to mankind, says billiards legend Geet Sethi. And Goa Athletic Association optimistic about athletes' performance in the upcoming West Zone Athletics Championship. And now the news in detail. The mystery woman Ankita Singh's statement to Goa police has revealed how Gopal Kanda was managing all his affairs in Goa. The statement corroborates facts in Gitika's suicide note as she has agreed in her statement that Kanda fathered her child. Here is a special report. In a statement made by Ankita on September 21st, 2009, Ankita says that she was married to Goel. She also states that she is a director in Mint Casino, a company owned by Goel. These revelations seem to corroborate Kitika's charges in her suicide note. Prudent had earlier reported that Ankita left for Singapore the moment police started probe against Kanda. Bollywood starlet Nupur Mehta, who was earlier senior vice president in the erstwhile MDLR Airlines, has claimed that Ankita is a dancer by profession and had met Kanda in 2005 when she visited Gurgaon to perform at a function. According to Mehta, Ankita, who was part of Amir Khan starer Fana cast as a friend of lead actress Kajol, got close to Kanda and began to be seen at MDLR's front office. Later, when Kanda expanded his business to Goa, Ankita was sent there to look after the operations. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Body of the Zuari security guard was found at Dandi Akshi on Saturday. His relatives identified him as Sanjay Desai, who jumped off the Zuari Bridge on Thursday. Deceased family has suspected foul over the suicide and refused to take charge of the body. They have demanded immediate arrest of administrative in charge of Zuari company, alleging him of being the responsible for Sanjay Desai's suicide. On Thursday afternoon, a security guard at Zuari Industries Limited, Sanjay Desai, committed suicide by jumping into River Zuari from the Zuari Bridge. Agasai police, along with the Coast Guard, began search for his body. On Saturday afternoon, his body was traced at Sirida. Body was fished out at Agasai Danda and later sent for post mortem at Goa Medical College, Bamboli. Family members of Sanjay Desai refused to take custody of the body, alleging that he was harassed by senior security in charge Dalip Kumar who made him commit suicide. They demanded his immediate arrest. Dilip Kumar, take a arrest Kumar also. To a guy was a top prong a loss. A company lagoon to prong a loss a company in the cut on the law. The police and the guy have kelo. A kit amka kida, take a arrest of Dilip Kumar, arrest of Bada. Oh, Sanjay Melo, take a lagoon. Sanjay Dukonela, then the Gorilla. Dilip Kumar and the Bonsaran. मुझे बोरी कर ये तन तनी ऐसा ही नफ्ता केरा हम चे माजे मरने की जैसा दिलीप कुमार ते का बिगिन अरेस्ट पे इनको अरेस्ट कर चो ते नंतर आमी बोरी ये बोरी आमी ये कर चले गाय बोरी आमी हलो हलो गुच्ची ना पुलिस रिकवर्ड सम लेटर्स फ्रॉम हिस पॉकेट इन्वेस्टिगेशन इज़ ऑन 
with video journalist Devendra Gaonkar, reporter Mahesh Gadi for Prudent Media. Bar Owners Association has welcomed government's intention of not allowing more bars in villages and residential areas. But they have cautioned about urban villages like Talegaon and Kalangut. They have also demanded that five-star hotels should not be exempted from the provision. It is very difficult today to demarcate a village and a municipality. Especially I'm talking about municipalities which are developed. Like for Panjim side you can say you can consider Taligaon. Santa Cruz is already extensions of Panjim. So it becomes very difficult to demarcate that. I think the no doubt the policy is good that they should have because there are too many licenses today. I am not saying that um, there shouldn't be a freeze. There has to be a freeze. You've got to come to a boy. Because there are two, uh, Goa liquor is like a, I would say is more like a general store. Okay, not no. It's not like um like other states. So it becomes very difficult. Like Kandoli area, again it's a panchayat. Then uh, again Margao, if you go to so Kavelosim area, that is developed highly between a tourism belt. Okay, so these are very difficult to demarcate. So I think the excise has to take a freeze, then if you have to take a freeze all over, not only as a, a residential areas or municipalities area. You got to take a freeze all over, you don't allow in municipality areas also. They also pointed out that while stopping new licenses in villages and residential areas, government should avoid issuance of licenses to five-star hotels too. A five-star hotel coming into Goa, how you are going to stop? How you are going to stop? Then there will be again a criteria. Some people will say, why you have allowed a five-star area? But uh, you will have to give a five-star. A five-star hotel cannot operate without a bar. But they op their investment which will run into it will be in crores of rupees. So how are you going to stop? Uh, somebody who is going to put a five-star property and he says, I am not going to have a bar. is going to sound, sound very ridiculous. They will have to give that leverage to a five-star hotel, I feel. The government is expected to release excise policy by September end by including all such major points. Reporter Mahesh Kari with video journalist Devendra Gaonkar. It's time now for a short break. Stay tuned.